I am Lamin Jai and this is News Review. And coming up, the much talked about homecoming of former President Yaya Jame is proving to be a hot topic of discussion as Gambians remain divided over whether the former dictator should return to the country. Uh, we have a report on that also coming up. Uh, Sarakunda market women vendors are bemoaning what they call, uh, what they call or allege uh, is police harassment. These and more coming up, uh, but first I will start with the papers. I have um, the standard and also the, the point today. So we'll begin with the standard uh, there. The standard today is reporting on the president's tour there. Barrow warns against any illegal acts to unseat him. That's their lead story there. Also on the standard man pleads guilty to defiling underage Girl, a 90 year old, says she was undressed by James witch hunters. Uh, three years journal is not a violent movement. That's according to their chairman there. President to disclose assets after leaving office. Uh, that's according to the new draft constitution. So let's see what the story is uh, saying there. President Adam Barrow has warned that he will not show to those bent. He will not show to those bent on undermining the laws to unseat him that he is the commander. Uh, in chief, he said the peace and stability of the country will not be compromised and that today's Gambia, people must abide by the law or face the consequences. The president was speaking to a large crowd or audience in Farafene in the ongoing tour there. Did not, who was speaking did not mention any specific uh, names or group, but his comments are widely considered as vile threats to planned demonstrations by the Three Years Jotna movement who want to protest against his apparent refusal to step down as promised. Also, man pleads guilty to defiling underage girl. One Babakar so has pleaded guilty to a single count of defiling a 17-year-old girl. The prosecution was led by police cadet inspector Kemowai Mane, who proceeded that the accused met the victim sometime in March 2019 in Farado village in the West Coast region and expressed loving her which uh, she accepted. The prosecution further explained that soon after a relationship developed and the victim got pregnant as was confirmed by Bikama Health Center there. The accused was arrested by the police, cautioned, charged and arranged before magistrate, uh, Bikama Magistrate's Court where he pleaded guilty to the charge of uh, defilement contrary to Section 5.1 of the Sexual Offenses Act of 2013. The medical and birth certificates of the victim were entered into evidence. Also, a 90-year-old uh, says she was undressed by James witch hunters. Masire Bojang, 90, from Jambur village yesterday told the FRRC that she was forced to undress naked and was bathed by some young enough to be her grandson. The old woman narrated that she was arrested by witch doctors who found her selling at the market and took her to Kololi, where she was forced to drink at least a liter of concoction along with a group of 62 other people. Three Years Jotna is not a violent movement. Abdul Njai, the national chairman of Three Years Jotna, a movement which vowed to stage a demonstration against President Adam Barrow, Barrow's refusal to step down in December, has said that this group does not believe in violence or disorder. Uh, speaking at an open-air meeting in Bundung 6 Junction, Njai said, contrary to all the misconceptions, uh, his group's members are from all tribes and share different political parties who have common objective to ensure that leaders just, just don't fool the population and get away with it. That will be all for the standard. And now the point uh, is reporting on the TRRC Jambur uh, hearings there, public hearings there, more witch hunt, uh, victims narrate ordeals, also defense challenges, uh, witness in Yankuba tourist trial, Gambia for five years, not counter to operation three years, uh, Jatna Ekawa's media training on DRR wraps up in, in Ghana. So we will go through some of the um, reports there. Defense Council Sisoho on 19, that's Yankuba Tourist lawyer there, on 19 November 2019, challenged the second prosecution witness, Ensa Mendy, in the murder case involving Yankuba Ture under cross examination before Justice JT of the High Court in Banjul. Counsel Sisoho asked the witness whether it was not true that he had previously on the oath said in his evidence that he drove Mami Minte, the accused sister, um, the accused sister and, and children to Banjul. He denied it, asked who was in the house before he left. He answered that 
he left the family. That's uh, the witness there, the prosecution witness there in the ongoing criminal trial of former junta leader Yankuba Ture. Gambia for five years, not counter to Operation Three Years Jotna. The executive members of Gambia for five years and peace building group National Dialogue have disclosed that the group was not set up to counter the rival group known as Operation Three Years Jotna. Speaking at a national dialogue titled the peace conference organized by the Africa Initiative in collaboration with other peace advocates in the Gambia held in Labranda Coral Beach Hotel uh, Saturday, Ibrahim Suriba, an executive member, made a clear point, point that the Gambia for five years and peace building does not exist to counter Operation Three Years Jotna. That will be it for the papers. And now we will go through some of the stories we have. Uh, the much talked about homecoming of former President Ajame is now a subject of hot public debate. debate. Gambians are apparently divided as to whether the former dictator should return to the country. More in this report. There are some talks in town about the homecoming of former President Yaya Jame from exile in the Central African Republic of Equatorial Guinea. The APRC, which Jame helped form, and the party that ruled the country for 22 unbroken years, is this weekend poised to organize a massive rally in Abuko, and the gathering is expected to draw scores of party supporters from across the country. Former President Jame unceremoniously fled the country in 2017 after suffering a shock electoral defeat, but his supporters in the country are on a shopping spree for a t-shirt with the inscription Homecoming of Babylon. And reports reaching the Fatun Network has it that there has been a record sale as far as the homecoming t-shirts are concerned. APRC itself has said that there was no formal discussion or agreement regarding Jamez much touted home return, but Gambians have been speaking about it. Because of program Okay, so that's not true. So what I know, President Suneke wrote 20 years. Suneke wrote 100 years. We have 75 years, we have 60 years. 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 We have 60 Nyakanya, <laughs> Why probably been many? I certainly yeah, Jamie is an ordinary citizen like me. Just a chancellor, so the man sat. But I tell him, "Bali, I'm in the Jasiatale, because TRLC I believe it and do more. I'm a new more. So TRLC the ma way it and deal co. Yeah, yeah, Hanna na ta moli nyanda sambala la ita kiti ola. I mean, do nyota ya bondiye, because I'm old till Bali afale. I'm old till Bali a jaburundi. I'm old till Bali a buti. I'm in the form of a victim of the carton 33. I was at my two for eight days. Man, cook it. Mon focal ke mon ke carton kat just problem on entrage carton is one do you love to fund la ma parale mbusa this was 2017 in atan ke real leader kan sa mbaki tiola yam bon je sa mo mail tu so real leader ten de carton kat ni problem on ane carton ko so ron sanyu tay ben so ron sanyu mo so til mbale asi fal min na du nyor jande ko ndema yam faide e du nante yam falai as a victim or whatsoever no, yeah, I mean, to come to the Gambia is normal. He's a citizen like everybody, and he has the right to be in the Gambia. I don't see him coming, and there is security threat. No, no, no. And I don't think that this present government will take any chance for any security loop on his coming. He is, he is, 
he is supposed to come. He should come. Simple. That's simple. There is no problem on that. Pia Jamelana. Normal mana nata umu kairo doronati. Kairo libetinya na kairo libelala. So momia longka uluta la banko ka kuluta je. I persida yake. Amurra kota ke ate mari. I hammo sota I lopita nol doku. I dulal doku. I silol doku. Sasa tola katara lori me kuna everything. Nda fone na kuranda lun sanje saban belopitan. Ata ya ya me suto tria kol kulok. Akaduna ne lopita no toka mol wiste kad doctor oli jibe. Fwebe doku ke kan na fwebe mantra ke kanyama. So oto kumi mo nyama. Atela ta 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 kaira le oto inyanda kabul. Lain aku kira kono, wanita kasih di alam na umat ini nalar si, so waktu ni aku mimbonya, mula ia teraya abula, aina kira neng kira, bayar aku luda jan, aku luda jan. Luis Mahela dal nyuam sa amna solo, because dua mi gambela, te judo nafi, te neka nak ko hamne du forena, so warna nyonyan ya la munyip sisiruam, kom time jawar jawar numnyip seon pi freedom bu, sunyi darah du hapun, because ya jamin itu jamala. Wow, nyinga hamne dengyo wah naya jamé bukun munyofi. Dapat fakir nyinga hamne nyom bukun ko. Niki nado ko muna banje ayeko rewam. Me, I'm very proud of Yajamé to come back because he is a citizen and he have the mandate, the legal authorities to come back in the particular his particular country. So he should come back and then we all see our own needs and then we will even he will even help with another president to develop the nation because he know many things. What they violent that Yajamé say that Yajamé do this and do that. Me, I don't believe on that. He is a president. He did mistake. Everybody can make a mistake. So he did mistake. So we should know that he made a mistake. Now we will. Say in our constitution that we should not allow in order person to make mistake as he made. So we should give him a way to come back in our country because he is a citizen. He cannot be denied to come back to this country. He must come back. Yajame left the country after a deal that said he should be allowed to return to the Gambia was reached during ECOWAS, AU and UN-led negotiations in 2017. His party has said it was about time the terms of his exit are respected. Opinion, however, remains split over the possible return to the country of the former dictator. Uh, now, the draft new constitution was last week unveiled by the Constitutional Review Commission. And now, after days since its release, Gambians have been reacting to this document uh, there. Let's find out what some of these, some of some university students are saying. The draft new constitution was last week released by the Constitutional Review Commission after 18 months of constitution building. After enduring a repressive rule for over 20 years aided by an obnoxious legal architecture, Gambians were hopeful that the new constitution will be all-encompassing, people-centered, and need-responsive. However, a few hours after the release of the new draft constitution for a month of public scrutiny, there are concerns about some of the contents of the draft new constitution. Academic qualification, term and age limits for eligibility to run for president are some of the issues proven to be burning to some students of the University of the Gambia. In the draft new constitution, an aspiring candidate for the office of president must bag an undergraduate degree or must at least acquire a grade 12 certificate with 12 years professional experience. This third year law student of the University of the Gambia is not entirely enamored of the new draft constitution. Yes, I was actually looking forward to the release of the draft constitution, though as I'm speaking to you, I was not able to go through the whole constitution, but from the, from the sections that I was able to read through, although there are orders that, that, that are to be celebrated, but I have some sections that I found open, for example, like qualification for the office of the president. So if you look at that section, it's giving you the lower limit, but there's no upper limit as to the age limit, for example. It's telling you you must be at the age of 30 before you are able to contest. That is the lower limit, but the upper limit, there's nothing to say which age will, deter, deter, will stop you from contesting. I have a problem with that, which I need to be amended. And secondly, is with regards to another qualification like the academic qualification. The constitution is saying you should have at least a bachelor's degree or a high school graduation certificate. That is this West African Senior Secondary School certificate with 12 years experience. I don't know what is, what is attached to these 12 years. Why did 12 years in particular? Why did the drafters use 12 years? Are they trying to favor someone? What is about these 12 years? Why not five years? Why not six years, but the 12 years? Since independence, the Gambia have only known sit-tight presidents.
first president Sadauda Kairaba Jawara ruled the country for 30 unbroken years, and his successor went on to rule for another 22 years. And now this draft new constitution has put a ceiling on the length of time that a president can serve as president. So what are some of the reactions to this? And in fact also the presidency also was at least better because we have seen that the, at least we have mandate where a president will, all, will always serve for two terms and every five year election after those two terms, the president will not be eligible to search for another Monday. That's also something that is very important as far as this new constitution is concerned. Some are, however, enchanted by the document. Well, uh, actually, it's not that bad, and I will just I will seize this opportunity to congratulate CRC because they have did uh, tremendous work. Indeed, we have seen that the constitution is, you know, all the provisions that are entered in the constitution, they are not there to promote the agenda of any political party. Well, we are happy that Gambia is um, trying to be in line with other countries in drafting a new constitution, and it is something that is very commendable. Um, I did not go through the whole um, pages, but I, at least I have um, swapped some of the pages, and what I can see is something very promising. Looking at the um, first constitution, which is the 1997 constitution. Um, I was very happy when I received the new draft constitution because what I was an anticipating, most of those things were included. And the things that I, I wanted them to remove too were being removed, especially the schedule one and two of the 1997 constitution, where we have um, dot immunity act, where people, you know, the the armed forces were unable to appear on any on any trial. That was being removed, so that was very happy. If approved, the new constitution will mark a sharp departure from what Gambians are used to in their political and socio-economic life. And, and now, there appears to be no end in sight uh, to the friction between KMC and vendors at Serkunda Market. There were some ugly scenes at the Gambia's largest market on Thursday when police tried to evict uh, the vendors occupying the road that runs through this market to Larikunda Jam. And as part of the operations, the police reportedly set barricades on the road to deter any vendor from entering that part of the market, but the police action has met with a stiff resi re resistance from the women there who insisted they will stay put until such a time that another space is created for them. Let's listen to what some of the women, women have been saying. <laughs> But more than Kola, Konya, Legeba Durin, Somanda, Police or Comosolta, Sila, Mosolfan and Kobe Sila, Equoya, Ne Bataya, Fenkaya Bari, Santel Mado from Baye Cafe Cadibaro, Fon and Police Muso Kalatan, the Cocabra Bulola, no contender, a police Sunkutoka, Bulobaji, a guy Jabari Fan, a kind of Sita Wulu, no, a car time more than Tambulo, Jaco, Police did not have to look us, a finance singular second in Palato, Police Talk, Amana, Nebe Jul. Kaya fanya lugha dia kwa dia namba ya dia lipa bang ni aje bi ndolebe si la njia siloka tonya alopta na Johnson onteni na njamani support paske tinto si bula na moto kono le ata tambi no moto ni alen kono to doli beje pala asobe bulu kono te bejang do bejang pala asta bulu kono to andung musuja mara kabenjang ya muso musuja na ata jela balu wale sija ya kio kija na ata jela balu wale sija ntoko ndi mu ba kilim fa kilim wale kelo abu ka kude da akatinya role te police odo li bejang ifangola ba di wale bejang fi role bara amandi e fane de man man santa de man sama fanka la mutaji katwa tata tola ni wansa foko mbeke kan kilinti meni ya lonko pala so be bulu kono to doli ya dum meni ya lonko pala se bulu ya jube ba noko sitla nyame but say ni ita bata ulo kon ita yela kano samana misalfi o yela jata samana o yela fen samana ita kwa ita be laro kela say ita be laro kela minton niyaji bi man sabi siri 
ntale mu solat na masal be sirin jang say mus kel nyi yantal kan tele makoy ba fe manyana kan tele makoy bi kel bu ni njuti ni ni njuti ntale katina idal ka jo say ni bi dal malafin idal la fantala bata ba ni bakela la batala nyaadi la fana batala bi ko sa fiya ntale ba nga ato do ngana ba lu ngani ni jannot do le kana ini dafa ini dafa so bu ko so ko ya dafa so ni jale da so say ni dal kontenta se jam boko do banda min wala bi nga fo en ko ko Nyan Yela fi on lundi daw dan dina ya chika ya fai la ban to mam firok ni na sungu din din fula ol kata kani fin karam bun din di uni otorata fa kum bota nga e kamun e kum ba ko nyen nan to sila o nja hali atal ka tu ko bitu lota bi ka ru o ka e tri tam tri tau zan fo hon ra se binti dalas ol ka bon ta kundi um bulo kon nga ol e jo so ni din din fula be bo al ta ko la ala la man sa ba ya tu nga jo na nyi wa firol ni wa firo la nga jor o ta sai ni na ta na na fo o mu solol ta sila jam din din ko le ya ni o tora o le ya ko mbondi adu ngon nyong ngon nyong ngon nyong o le be nyi marcent e ko nga bo jang ka na firi ja ntol du mam pala soto sai ni lafta mole bo jang kay ye ma koy pala so la re nga firo ka to ntol fana na soto ro be janat wala na na ta si ja ne pala so din tol la kono to mbete a si la je Iko palaso bije, ntol palasti ol ni ol sita je, ntol tata je, ntol palaso sotol. Sorokuna market is one of the country's largest cities which is experiencing rapid urbanization and this is putting increased pressure on almost basically almost everything from the markets to schools to housing. Um, etc. Now we have another report. Um, the waste woos confronting the Sinju Baria Lower and Opo Basic School uh, intensifying, and pupils and staff of the school are making passionate appeals to the authorities to intervene to make the environment a conducive, safe learning space. Jaka Sise Jaita traveled to Sinju Baria, and then th and this is our report. The Sunchi Balia Lower and Upper Basic School has for many years now been at the mercy of this outdoor dump site found right at the school's football field. School authorities say the school is becoming more unconducive and a hazardous learning environment for the students. Basically, um, I would call it as a very you know, hazardous you know, dump within the area because as a school, um, it affects our teaching and learning processes simply because others coming in are all contained airborne diseases that both teachers and students among the vicinity of the community people are also inhaling it and it is a detriment to their you know um, health situation so we definitely felt it very much disappointed within the community that uh, it should have not been dumped here because there you have health center just close to the dump site. You have people sleeping around the dump site. You have a school within the dump site. So to my own understanding, it is not actually good for all of us. This dump site is not only affecting the school, but also a health center which is nine meters away. Residents are also not spared. The school has in many occasions engaged various institutions such as the Alcalo, VDC and Ministry of Education, but no cogent step has been taken to solve the problem. It has been here for almost 10 years. But for the past years, it was not like how it is today. One can say that in the past two years, it's becoming worse. Now it is beyond control. We have been reporting this downside to so many agencies. One, the Alcala is aware, the VDC is aware, the National Assembly, NEA came here, QTV came here twice, the Kama Area Council, 
and other parties. And it is now, and it is still a problem to the school as far as teaching and learning is concerned. The head girl and boy of the school are also bothered. People come and put this dump site here and this is not good for our health. And jumps can easily come in our class. When are we in our body? When are we going on lessons? This is not good for us. We want the government to help us with this. This is not even the hospital is behind our school here. If people are in the hospital, this will not help them. Some of them used to take this cattle horse and do and come and put it here. If they go to this outside, they come and put it here. And they say the people to pay them and they put it here. This is not good. For they should avoid that and we, we also we should tell them to stop that and they should stop that. It is really disturbing us. This dumb side is a major concern. When lessons are going on, sometimes we cannot even sit in class because of this dumb side. We all have to take waters and come and put out this dumb side. It's really affecting us. So we are praying to, we are asking the government to help us so that this could be removed here. If we have inter houses or inter schools, how will we make it here? Here is a field. We should not put here dumb dumb side. We should not make it as a dumb side. Because it it is it is a field. So it is a field. So why are people putting this dumb side here? It is not only affecting the school, but even the people who are living near the dump site. This dump site has been here for some time now. And we've tried on many occasions, but to no avail yet. As you can see, right now it is burning. And this burning is a mixture of a lot of, you know, molecules which could be hazardous, or which are even hazardous to everybody who is within the environment, not to talk of the, um, the children who are in this school. Because some time back, even there was a day it was burning like this, we have to, you know, stop classes to allow the um, smoke to settle up to the extent where we have to fetch water from the school to come and quench the fire. From all indication, the school will shut down if no step is taken. For the Fatu Network News Review, Jack CCJT reporting. So today I was going to interview the political advisor to President Barros, Yaka Jata, on the president's tour there, but he made, uh, got back to me saying he's currently emceeing or chairing a meeting. So today uh, the president started a nationwide a cartoon to Koina tour of the country on Monday. Today, Thursday, the president in the morning uh, went on a site visit to uh, Nema Fass, that, 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 that's a garden site there. He also visited Medina Wasu also, that's a, a, a road project uh, or a read project site. Uh, he was also at the Youth Service Center in Jailan, in Nyani constituency, uh, and then there is a meeting uh, that he attended in Buduk, also in Nyani Ja, and then now, currently, we have, made, we have been made to understand that there is a meeting going on in Doen, which Yakajata said he is uh, currently moderating. So that will be it for today's uh, news review. Uh, thank you very much for being there. We'll be back next week. Until then, my name is Lavinja.